my YouTube channel. Just wanted to do a quick video on one of my favorite orchids. As you can see there, that is a Dendrobium Victoria Reginae. Um, unfortunately, that is a cool grower. Difficult for me to grow. However, I stumbled upon this beauty. This is a Dendrobium Mingles Sapphire beautiful orchid and this is actually a cross with the Dendrobium Victoria Reginae and Dendrobium Gonzalesii. So as you can see here it retains a lot of the qualities of the uh, the blue to slightly bluish purple here. Uh, probably a better example is this flower here, you can see it's got more of a blue tinge to it. Apologize for the focus here, a little hard to dial in. Um, beautiful, beautiful little orchid. And this one is much easier to grow. So as I mentioned before, it's a cross between Gonzalesii and Victoria Reginae, both Philippine species. And they are from, I believe it's the island of Luzon. And if you look closely, uh, these do retain traits from both. So the Gonzalesii, of course, is a warmer growing orchid, warm to hot, I would say. And that has more white to a slight white uh, purple tint to it. Um, again, warm growing, whereas the Victoria Reginae is a cold to cool growing, and that has more of the deeper purple. Uh, to blue color so you know you put these two together and ultimately what you get is you get now an orchid that can that can grow in uh, intermediate to warm temperatures and as far as the lighting on this guy um, does not require a tremendous amount of light I would say medium medium definitely shaded light you can see I actually started to burn the leaf tips here and this is just from growing this guy indoors so it's definitely sensitive to too much light uh, grows a lot of kikis you can see there there's kikis um, what else humidity likes to be around I would say 70 percent minimum 65 percent in the winter time and summer I would say at least 75 percent or higher um, again beautiful species to grow indoors uh, and I mentioned I showed that painting at the beginning. That's actually a painting I did of a Victoria Reginae, which is also one of my favorite orchids. But um, yeah, this uh, definitely found one that I can grow indoors, so that's exciting. So if you get a chance to buy one of these or you come across one, I highly recommend it. Especially if you like the other colder growing species. So actually, if you look close, a little hard to see on here. I actually have some additional flower buds. Let's see. One of these. I can't see it right now. Ah, there it is. It's up in the back on this other one. If you look on the back there, you can actually see a new bud coming out. So, yeah. So far, so good. It's doing well. Alright. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to share. Thanks for watching.